welcome. In this video, we are going to explore how to maintain full control over each part of the rendering. Let's just create our first one, saying that it's a silver electric scooter concept in Viscom General with relatively high drawing influence. Let's just get the clean rendering done. And after that, we can start ideating on the details and having our intentions across. Let's just select that little motor area and we want to describe a new aesthetic let's use render mode in painting and say that it's a black plastic part of the scooter on the other hand if you want to influence the changes by our drawing on the canvas and maintaining the colors just slightly improve on a certain area let's just use yet again in painting selection but this time stay in refine mode Let's introduce something interesting for the wheels. Just pulling in two circles and I'm raising some of the parts that are not visible. Here I want to have a sort of glowing effect. So what I can do is yet again use the painting on the wheels, stay in render mode and describe these as blue glowing circles. I can create multiple renderings and just erase some of the parts that I want to maintain from the top rendering and erase some of the parts that I that I just don't want to see. And what we can also do is to ideate on the materials using render mode and the painting selection. Here I can just describe a material that I want to see realized on the canvas. Saying that it's a Brown letter C this time. I can prompt any material, even do fabric seat. But if I have a specific expectation about the material, I can even use the reference image function to upload an image and use it as a reference. Let's just set the influence of that image create the rendering this way. Here, if we were to lose with the selection path, we can just use the eraser tool to clean it up the edges. Now a different use case is if we want to introduce completely new elements to the scene, we can just sketch them in very roughly, create a selection path around them, and use render mode with the mask on to describe the scene as the guy with a backpack is sitting on the scooter. Render mode, let's close the reference image for this and click on generate with 50%-ish drawing influence because our little sketch was very rough. Now if we want to ideate on the headlights, we can just get rid of the previous one by color picking the background and sketching inside the new one. Here I just want to describe the main lines of the headlight. I want to have a sort of glowing effect yet again on it. I'm just selecting the entire area that I've touched and I'm using render mode in painting with the prompt of glowing scooter headlights. Now I can even personalize the character's aesthetic saying that he's wearing jeans actually. I can do that with the shoes too. At the end of the workflow, I can just select the entire scene. I can use the refine mode with the mask on to just slightly improve on this aesthetic while keeping all of the colors. Just like that. And this way we could have full control over each element and the overall aesthetic of our creation.